What's up, Air Signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekend vibes for the weekend of the 13th through the 15th of January, 2022, guys. Okay. All right. So, without further ado, let's hop right in for Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides of the Highest White Light. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. January 13th through the 15th, 2022 was coming in for Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. Ooh, okay. All right. This was the second card out. Ooh, ooh. Two of Wands and ooh, okay, y'all. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. All right. So we've been getting that for a minute, y'all, that somebody want to collab. All right. And that junk might turn into a relationship. I'm seeing that here. It's definitely going to add stability. All right. So, okay. Ar uh, Archangel Gabrielle is definitely uh, very much present here. And that is the angel of the temperance as well. So it's looking like the angels are trying to balance out your life right now. You could be losing your zest in your career. So it might be cause for collaboration or just to shake things up right now revamp your business or whatever because it's like you guys are trying to follow your heart and make work fun like some of you guys could be entrepreneurs so it's like you want to you want to love what you do you want what you do to make money to also be your passion as well okay so what is this Material needs are getting fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. That was in reverse, okay? And that's at the bottom of the deck. So my thing is, that could have been what has been leading you to like lose your passion when it comes down to whatever it is that you're doing. Even if it's not, like you don't have to be an entrepreneur. This can be you working Doing the mundane, you know what I'm saying? Going to the normal nine to five and just feeling like it's dreadful at this point. It's like, okay, I'm really getting tired of this. I want to do something different. I don't know what I want to do. And God is sending people into your life that is bringing those ideas to you. Okay? Especially since you're trying to search for some type of direction. Okay. But I feel like you guys are getting ready to be celebrating abundance off of whatever is coming in for you. So, pay very close attention to the people that's coming into your life over the weekend because I definitely do feel like it can bring you to the abundance that you need. And you need to make these bold, ambitious decisions in order to gain what it is that you feel like you haven't been from where you're at right now. Okay, so let's get the energy for Aquarius first. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. What's coming in for the sign of Aquarius? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarius, you don't look like you're doing too shabby if you ask me. And if you was before this weekend, girl, that money about to be looking well, okay? Or guy, whoever it is that's watching. The Nine of Pentacles is definitely a card of abundance, especially on an independent level, okay? So maybe up until this point, Aquarius, you've been doing very well. I feel like you've been a slave to your job, though, girl, okay? It's like you can't do nothing else. You ain't even able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, but your bank account is looking right, okay? Or will be this weekend if it wasn't before, to if it wasn't before today. Wow, look at this. Recognition. The Six of Wands. Success is happening in the life of Aquarius, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys got some, somebody, somebody might be reaching out. They want to like, I don't know if somebody is wanting to invest in you, collaborate with you, team up with you, interview you. But I feel like whatever this person is doing, because this can be anything. This could be somebody like, okay, come in, come in. Basically, you know, we want to interview you. I got a podcast, whatever the case is. And this could be somebody with a big platform or whatever. And whatever it is that you do, whatever your business is, if you got a website or whatever, this can definitely be bringing traffic to your business because if it's like, like I said, an interview or a collaboration, do whatever you're dealing with, they are ready established. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely seeing that, that you're getting some recognition. People are noticing you that you don't even know are noticing you. People that are already successful are noticing you. 
I'm like literally hearing people in high places. So Aquarius, no matter what you're doing and how you're marketing yourself, I feel like you don't even realize the people, the notice that, that people are taking of you. And, you know, I feel like people are coming in with really good ideas. Outside of that, I feel like people that truly support you, especially if it's like something needed to change, shake up, or be revamped within your life. I feel like people that really love you, they giving you ideas without even, you know what I'm saying, needing to get any recognition for it. This is people that just want to see you succeed, okay, overall. And damn, Aquarius, it's about time because I swear we be having a lot of people that don't want to see us do well, okay? But yeah, it's people that want to see you do well, it's people that believe in you, they see the value in you, they see that, you know, whatever it is that you got going on, you know, maybe you just need a little help with it, but they they see the they see the light, they see your value, okay? So y'all can be getting heavy recognition, heavy traffic on your websites, you know, uh in your DMs as clientele, whatever it is that you're doing here, okay? But yeah, again, like I said, it's because you've been a slave to this job. It's like, Aquarius, you could be a little obsessed with making it to the top. And I ain't gonna lie, it could be people around you that's watching you. And like I said, it's people in high places. I don't know why, bro. I don't never talk about the Illuminati, all right? I don't never talk about the Illuminati because I don't even be wanting to give stuff like that energy. But honestly, guys, that's what is very much giving me. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know how it is that you guys are getting y'all Skrilla. But honestly, it's people that's looking at y'all and that's kind of becoming... Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is you as well, but I feel like it's people outside of you as well. Okay, Aquarius? People that want contracts with you. But you got to watch how much control people need to take over you in order to like... So, breathe over your contracts well. That's what I will say. If anybody is like, you know what? If you come on our team, we'll uh, market, promote, this, that, blah, 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 blah. Collab and this and that. But we got to get this percentage of everything you do, even if it ain't with us. You got to watch the stipulations that people are bringing to you. Especially if it's something where you happen to team up. But Spirit is encouraging it because it's saying it's time for you to make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is pop, pop, imp. Great progress is possible, important relationships with people who share your same vision. So again, like I said, some way, somehow, these people see you in ways that others may have not. You know, especially if you've been feeling like you've been overlooked. Okay, but yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, you ain't been overlooked in your money. Spirit keeping you blessed no matter what. Alright, so let's see. So some of you guys can definitely be dropping a job and going independent with it. And y'all can be having the opportunity to do that. Somebody want to invest in you. All right. You might feel like you got to sleep on it because you, you may feel like it's too good to be true. But it's not because the will of fortune is here. Whatever it is that you've been working tirelessly at. Because like I said, the devil can be you, Aquarius. It could be you just being obsessed with the outcome and really, really, really wanting for what you want to happen out of this situation to happen. The ace of swords is here. So this is honestly an honest offer. If typically you have to worry about just agents coming into your life trying to be, I don't know, yo, like trying to, to make it seem like they're giving you something that's going to help you. But in reality, you know, you feel like they got an underlying motive. Whoever is approaching you this weekend, they don't. They speak in truth. You know, they're going to give you clarity on the situation. Again, I do feel like with the devil here, somebody can just see that you are truly dedicated, you know what I'm saying, to the situation. But let's go ahead and see what that's about because the devil concerns me. Why is the devil here? Mm -mm. What was that? Yeah, the devil was trying to block you, honestly, but can't no more. All right, you, you blocking out anything that's negative. Let's see, why is the devil here? Yeah, so that's what's going on with you, Aquarius. Damn. I'm telling you, whoever calling to invest in you, Aquarius, they really want a relationship with you. I mean, courtship could be business partnership as well. But honestly, it's so many work cards in this deck that it's no need for love to be coming up unless it's truly love. 
all right so again you got to watch people because there's a lot of people out there that's still lingering that don't like the idea of seeing you come up and them people is obsessed with blocking you okay they could be obsessed with blocking your work blocking your relationships but it's looking like you about to get a two for one deal okay so let's see why is the nine of pentacles here because somebody just see you as like single and like Let's see. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Courthouse in reverse. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. This may be work going business. All right. You might actually have to travel for this, Aquarius. That could be the reason why travel been coming up so much and we didn't know where it was coming from, but it's definitely for work. Now, here's one thing I will say is whoever this is, they already coming into this knowing that they got romantic interest in you some way, somehow. You get what I'm saying? Um, but they're not going to tell you that. They're going to just come in telling you that they're interested in and giving you a work opportunity or collaborating in a work opportunity. Let's see. Why is the Six of Wands here? But you gain traction. That's what I'm saying. Being publicly admired. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, this person is ready to plant seeds and invest. False person. Mm. Oh, yeah. Y'all still got negative people in the background. With the devil and the false person here, y'all got an ex, a karmic, a karmic masculine that is obsessed with sabotaging the shit that you got going on. They don't want you to find no new love. Somebody is definitely obsessed with trying to stop you. People better learn how to stop. <laughs> I mean, is it really, really worth it to, like, mess your own life up trying to stop somebody else's life? Because you can only, like, you can only do so much. Let's get one more on the Six of Wands. Somebody pissed about you getting all this attention. They don't want you to move on. They don't want things to change. All right? So, yeah, somebody pissed about you getting all this attention and, and being celebrated and getting all this notoriety. So just keep that in mind with your movement forward because somebody might be trying to block you from new relationships, business partnerships, and friendships because whoever this is, they could be obsessive. They coming in as a saboteur, you know, a false person, somebody that don't want your success to go far, okay? In addition to somebody that's actually coming in, offering you a business and wanting a relationship with you. Why is the page of wands here? So somebody is watching you move on and they pissed. Okay, yeah, you getting some type of message this weekend. Somebody reaching out is good, exciting news as it pertains to work. Page of Wands. Jeez. Oh, my gosh, yo. It's somebody from your past that feel like you just misjudging, like, either that or they trying to put some type of... They think that you deserve some karma, but damn, they karmic. If you wanted to lead them along, you was right to do so. And look at them now. Look at what they're doing. This is why you don't want them. That's what people need to understand. This ain't appealing. It's not appealing when you obsessed with your ex, stalking them, trying to block them, trying to block their relationships. That's why this person don't want you. Because I know you're probably watching this too. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop. Stop doing that. Nobody is going to be attracted to a man that want to hold them back in life. Okay, so why is the uh, Seven of Pentacles here? I mean, I feel like somebody actually thinking and feeling like you don't deserve it. Trying to tell you. Yeah, somebody really trying to put an end to some, any new beginning you get because you don't want to be with them no more. And they definitely behind your back watching. Because look how these is laying. Okay? Whoever this is, it's like they just want to drag you down to a karmic level right along with them. But these is my ex cards. Okay? When these cards come up, these is either karmics or exes. So, my thing is, your ex could have showed up as anything, but they showed up as the karmic masculine. And I call this the karmic masculine because look how jealous he look. You know what I'm saying? Now, whoever this is they like behind your back watching you and trying to manifest destruction in your life, but they don't get it. The will of fortune is here. Whatever is coming good into your life is already written. Spirit has already determined this because you already put in the work. So somebody really going to get their feelings hurt trying to stop something for you. People need to learn when to move on, okay? It's other people. It's other fish in the sea. 
You know what I'm saying? If you thought you loved somebody so much, go find somebody else to fall in love with. If somebody don't want to be with you no more, that's not for you to take the opportunity to go and try to destroy their life moving forward because you're going to end up losing yourself and trying to bring somebody else's life down who still ain't going to want to be with you. Okay, it don't matter what you do. You can go out and do spell work and be on a suicide mission because when you're messing with divine people, that's what you're going to get. And we already got that in Aquarius reading. Now, once again, you got some jealous ass ex that don't want you to move on, don't want you to have love, don't want you to be viewed, don't want you to be appreciated. They want to put an end to all, any type of investment you have. Instead of slowing you up, this person want to stop you. But they not God. Too many people got this God complex where they think like they can wave their finger or go drop a couple coins in a practitioner's hand and switch up somebody's whole outcome on life. And that's the thing. The universe is going to conspire in your favor because you don't be on no hating ass shit like that. Aquarius. So whoever this is, they got to know that you got the will of fortune. And that means that whatever it is that you did leading up into this point has been reviewed by the spiritual realm and the spiritual realm feel like you deserve this break. And that's despite what any human being thinks. Especially one that's jealous, a tyrant, and that you don't want to be with no more. And rightfully so. People need to understand this is unattractive. Nobody going to want you back if you're trying to destroy their life. No one. In fact, you're going to make a new enemy. You're going to go from what could have been at least friendship to making that person probably hate you. You know what I'm saying? So watch yourself. Watch your style. Okay? So let's see. Will of Fortune. I'm telling you, the community is celebrating you. You are being seen and appreciated because God said it's time. All right? So you guys can be getting ready to move into a nice bigger house. Or y'all business is just going to do better. Like somebody is like, they trying to put their thought and their intention into everything, y'all. Every single day, send energy back, okay? Every single day. Don't even lay your head down to rest without sending people energy back. Because people just be thinking that their mind is so powerful that they can shift everything up in your life. But you need to be using your mind to send that energy right back. Because anybody that will send this negative intention, they deserve it in their own life. To be honest with you. And that's just how I feel. Maybe other people don't agree or whatever. I don't give a damn because I'm my own person. But people that do this, they deserve to feel what it is that they're trying to do to other people. So that they can learn how to stop being so envious. That's the ass whooping that they need. They need to go over God's knee and get their ass spanked. Because you don't know when to stop. Or they don't know when to stop. You're getting a lot of offers when it comes down to love, Aquarius, okay? So whatever this person trying to stop, they're going to be having to work overtime and double time to do so. And it just don't make no sense. You can be putting all of that effort into your own life rather than to try to destroy somebody else's. What is that going to really do for you, okay? It's going to give you some satisfaction. That's what you get for not wanting to be with me, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, I'm, and people still ain't going to want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? And you got to think about it. What what goes around, comes around, what you put out, you get back. If you want somebody, if you want to wish, like, misfortune and loneliness on somebody's life, you're going to repel every opportunity, love and money that come into your life because that is the energy that you're putting out. This person's options is going to stop. They probably ain't got none. That's probably the reason why they this freaking mad because nobody should be this mad when something don't work. Why is the four of wands here? I'm sorry, why is the Five of Swords here? And the, the part about it is, God could have warned you on this, man. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, unexpected income is coming to you guys, okay? Unexpected income is coming to you guys. Um, I don't know why the child is showing up. Why is the child showing up? Some of you guys absolutely can be with child, so definitely take a test if you feel like it. You know, because you could be feeling like your energy is hella freaking low.
But yeah, whatever the case is, yes, you got some new opportunities coming in for you, Aquarius. But you're going to be having to be working overtime to keep protecting your energy. Because for some odd reason, Aquarius always got a jealous ex, bro. And it's so annoying. It is really annoying. Let's see what's coming in for the sign of Libra. Libra, hopefully y'all don't got jealous exes too. Because it's just annoying at this point. Let's see. What's coming in for the sign of Libra? All right, you got the strength here. Ooh, somebody is resisting an ending here too as well, Libra. Okay, somebody is trying to regain their strength here. Somebody could be working out. Somebody is definitely like trying to work out here. All right, but... I see resistance when it comes down to ending. Something could be ending or transforming here. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Criminal activity might get somebody ass arrested. Oh, God, Libra. What's happening? If criminal activity is not getting somebody arrested this weekend, and I feel like that's for somebody because I specifically heard it. Hmm. Hmm. Then it's somebody's, somebody's stuck in their head about mind games, a ending that some mind games caused in their life. Okay, so Libra, I don't know if this somebody that's something that happened to you or if somebody was playing mind games with you, you know, trying to keep you stuck, trying to keep you trapped. And now that person is the one that's in regret. It was a double-edged sword because you ended things permanently with them and this person is seeing that you are overcoming just fine this could have been somebody that thought you would have been stuck on them you know thought that they can keep on playing games and going back and forth with you um and play dirty and stuff like that but if somebody playing dirty enough they might go to jail okay let's see what else is coming in for libra and honestly speaking, if this is the type of person that just perpetuates this type of energy, it might not even be you that put them in jail, Libra. It might just be their fate because they just keep being this. This is a criminal energy. This is criminal activity. And honestly speaking, it might end in tragedy. I'm not trying to bring up these super heavy energies, but something, you know how somebody can go in thinking that they about to do something and they don't know, no, they don't know somebody going to get hurt. This is what this spread is looking like to me. Like somebody was trying to do something and it could end up putting them in jail because a crime can be committed stronger than the one that was meant to be committed. You get what I'm saying? Like this can be somebody going in to rob somebody but didn't have no plans on killing somebody and then that happens. And somebody is like in despair about it. Like what the fuck did we just do? But somebody negative activities is might get them caught up. And grieving, all right? Because I feel like even a person that's, that get arrested, they grieving about whatever they did. And they could have caused some type of ending here. Let's see what else is going on. All right? Nine of Cups in reverse. Being, uh, somebody could have been intoxicated when this happened. All right? Y'all, I'm trying to tell you some type of tussle because I'm getting restrained, restrained. I don't know, restrain, resistance, something to that extent. So get what I'm saying, guys. This makes sense. Like, let's say somebody was, what do they call that? Yeah, a stick up. You see what I'm saying? Let's say somebody, now this some old school crimes, but this what I'm, this what I'm like feeling so strongly. And I don't know how many Libras this going to be for, but probably not a lot. I don't know why this is coming through. Okay, so... I'm getting like one of those situations where somebody trying to take something from you and you resisting and then that's, it caused something. You know what I'm saying? The knife slips, somebody gets stabbed. The, the trigger slips, somebody get shot. Something like that. 
Because this is like a fight that's happening here. And somebody might get seriously hurt to the point where somebody has got to go get locked up over it. All right. Or you even been maybe having a dream about this. You may need to look up that dream to interpret it. If not, this person ain't going to have nothing but time to think about what they did. And with the nine of cups falling out in reverse, like this could, mm, this could be after like a party, a gathering, something. I'm trying to uh, let me let me process this down spread so I can see if there's any other interpretations from this. Okay. All right. So let's just say, for the sake of those that ain't going through this dramatic situation, and I'm not even clear if it's you, Libra. It can absolutely be somebody you know. Somebody could be calling you to ask you to get them out of jail, or this can be something that you're seeing on the news of somebody that you actually know. But I'm not going to lie. For some of you, this is a weekend that somebody may try something stupid. And they're going to try it on the wrong person. And a fight is going to break out. And that may cause somebody to get seriously injured, which can cause somebody to get arrested. On the flip side, it's not much better, but if it's not people that's going out intending ill, like criminal activity, you know, robbing, stealing, and all of that, and somebody getting hurt while doing that, then this can absolutely be that somebody here, someone here may want to break away from their spouse, okay? They may just be asking for space. They may want to end this shit, okay? Because I'm seeing the death card here. The death card is a final ending. But somebody could just be, like, trying to reason with their person. Like, look, if you don't want to do a final breakup, let's at least do a break. But I need some time to myself, okay? And I feel like that person is going to be trying to resist, it, resist and a fight may ensue, okay? A fight is definitely going to happen. I don't care if it's... You know, again, somebody out in the street fighting or you or somebody fighting at home. But something definitely is going to ensue where somebody may get hurt. Somebody might get a black eye. And again, it don't have to be the woman. It could be the man in the situation. But somebody is definitely, like, somebody might end up in jail and the other person may be in the hospital. And that's just what I'm getting here, y'all. I'm trying to make this better but honestly it's not it's not good whatever is happening on the weekend libra it's not good it's full of drama it's full of drama it's full of pain um i feel like the night starts off with celebration or this could just be somebody that's just want to go out there and date and no longer be in this relationship anymore but somebody else has been resisting the ending here Okay, trying to get their spouse to stay in a relationship that's over with. With the death card here, somebody has outgrown the other and wants to move on. And that's just the bottom line. Why is the strength card here? Oh, okay, I see. Damn. Woo-wee. Okay. So here's the thing. Somebody could be making an announcement this weekend that they're pregnant in this situation, Libra. And I feel like the other person isn't concerned because they're done with their relationship. Okay? And they could be telling their partner that, like, you know what? Maybe it's not best. You know what I'm saying? If we uh go full time with this because i really feel like this is coming to an end i want to end the relationship i want to break whatever somebody is saying here is to separate from another and that person could actually be pregnant or that person could have been expecting something more like instead of a breakup they was expecting an engagement you get what i'm saying they was expecting things to go to the next level rather than to fizzle out so somebody here is like determined to win in this situation and they could take measures, okay? And they may de they may be de um they may be dangerous measures. I'm not gonna lie, because I cannot ignore this. Like it's too much going on that's negative here. And I feel like the night starts off positive. It can be starting out out with like positive celebration. Again, people can be drinking, laughing. They can have friends over. But I feel like this could either be a couple or this could be a group of friends that decide to go out and do something stupid and and somebody get hurt. 
Okay, so why is the death card here? Yeah. Yes, I'm trying to tell you. One more time for the death card. This is happening at somebody's home. Okay, yeah, somebody is going to someone's house to tell them. Why is the Five of Swords here? Because somebody don't want to put the work in the situation anymore. Somebody see this as labor or chore, this relationship, and they don't want to do it anymore. Somebody may rather be single. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords here? But somebody feel trapped? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like as soon as this masculine tell this person that they want to break up, boom. Hey, we having a daughter. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we having a little girl. Or whoever pregnant or finding out they pregnant this weekend, a lot of y'all can be pregnant with girls, okay? It may not be everybody, but somebody here specifically is finding out about a child. And that child, could, yeah, hey, the gender may be not to be determined right now, but I'm getting a little girl. Why is the Eight of Swords here? This masculine energy feel trapped because maybe they already told this person that they are, they want to be done. All right? Marriage, yes, I'm telling you. Somebody was thinking that they was going to get a marriage out of this, and instead they got a breakup, and they're furious. All right? Somebody feel like they, you know, that this person trapped them. Because here's the thing. <sighs> Y'all already know how I go. Even when you express something like, you know, I don't know if this working out, I might want to break, whatever. Sometimes exes have a hard time breaking apart. Sometimes after the initial breakup, People get together and they sleep together still like, oh, you know, whatever they be trying to say. Is this the last time? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. That could have happened. And somebody could have gotten pregnant thinking, shit, you know, I don't want them to break up. Because I feel like whoever this is, it's like they want to win at all costs. All right? So that's already what's coming up is the five of swords. Is somebody being selfish here? Somebody wants a relationship. The other person doesn't. The person that's finding out that the person is pregnant, they want to move forward with their original plans of breaking up, okay? And they feel trapped by this person. Like, you know, somebody is definitely, oh, yeah, somebody was expecting this person to be happy, but they're not, okay? Somebody is definitely suggesting termination because I see the Ten of Swords as not only a betrayal, but sometimes even surgery, Okay? So, somebody is being really cold in that response because it's like this person, it could be somebody interfering in this connection. This masculine energy can already be interested in somebody else. They could have been trying to move on and somebody is announcing that they're pregnant, but either this person want out, if they already married, they want a divorce, and if this person thought that a pregnancy was going to get somebody to ask them to marry them, they was wrong. Alright, why is the five of wands here? I'm telling you, mm-hmm, I'm telling you, five of wands, one more time, somebody feel like this is a bad idea, or this is just the wrong time, it's like, don't even tell nobody about this, because, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, y'all, I hate to be saying stuff like this, but this masculine energy is not committed, they don't want to commit to this person that's pregnant, or finding out that they pregnant. They telling this person that they should end the pregnancy, okay? And they could be feeling like, damn, like they already found somebody new. They could have found somebody through work or whatever the case is. And I feel like they focusing the attention more on that new individual. But they could be feeling like, how can my luck be this bad that my ex is showing up pregnant right at a time where I'm trying to move on? Why is the four of, wands, four of Swords here? I keep saying the Four of Wands for the Four of Swords. I don't know why. But the Four of Wands is here because somebody is celebrating abundant reward. And that could be like this masculine could be feeling like that's all this person wants is to like marry them because they doing big things now. Let's see. Yeah, because they are an official person. All right. So somebody might have to break, pump the brakes on a new situation until they figure out what they going to do about this because a part of this masculine feel like they want to stay even though they don't want this woman it's like they know that they'll be viewed in a negative light but they feel trapped somebody here feel trapped all right i'm sorry y'all so that whole the whole jail situation might be uh for just a few libras but for most of you 
it's a masculine energy here that's trying to leave and you know it seemed like a, a feminine energy in their life is like no like you can't leave because in reality and i feel like really the masculine energy in the situation they want to focus more on their career they got new career opportunities and an opportunity to really you know do something big and it might require travel or, you know, to be single right now or whatever the case is because maybe they got to be on the road a lot or whatever the case is. I don't know. But somebody don't want the relationship that they in anymore. They want to they want to fully pursue their career and they could have even found somebody within their career, somebody that shared the same vision as them that they want to be with instead. Okay, so yeah, a fight might ensue. And I ain't going to lie, it can be multiple people because I feel like before the masculine energy approaches the feminine energy, you know, to find out, this person is, like, celebrating with friends and, like, thinking that they about to be celebrated. So, let's see. Let's see what's coming in for the sign of Gemini. Ooh. Nine of Wands. Okay, so y'all can be the ones that's feeling like y'all been working way too hard and y'all exhausted. And y'all want to do something that y'all more passionate about. Y'all could just be feeling like y'all just been through the storm with whatever it is that y'all doing. And y'all may feel like y'all staying stuck in this to your own detriment at this point. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Yeah, it's, it's something about y'all job. Y'all could be losing y'all job. And y'all could be feeling so defeated by that, Gemini. Because maybe that's something that y'all worked really, really hard for. You know, maybe at this point you feel like it's such a stalemate. Yeah, a painful ending is coming to a career. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here, guys. I'm so sorry. All right, yeah, money is coming to an end. I feel like Spirit been warning you about this for a long time so that you can, like, embody the courage to move, move forward. But I feel like you guys are now, okay? You guys can be communicators of some sort. So you could have worked anywhere. Like, I don't know. Whatever communications is for you, you know, but that could have been your job, answering phones or communicating to a public some way, somehow. But yeah, somebody losing a job this weekend, Gemini, all right? And I'm getting like, oh my God, some of y'all going from the Ten of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. Y'all might be having to go back to doing something that y'all was doing before that was making a lot less fucking money. All right? You're trying to choose a path because you don't know what to do next. And I feel like that's why you missed the mark. Because, again, spirit has been sending you signs. You've been aware that something is getting ready to come to a stop. You just didn't know when, how, or whatever. But there's something that you've been working so long on. I feel so bad, Gemini. I'm so sorry. You've been working so long on, but it's finally coming to a stop. So this could be a job ending, closing down, laying people off, anything. But it's like it, you've been at a stalemate at this place for so long. Why is the Nine of Wands here? And it's been weighing you down. You guys are physically tired, okay, and feeling blocked. All right, somebody could be blocking your work. All right, why is the Eight of Wheels in reverse? Or are you just ex ex experiencing a lot of obstacles? And you definitely getting some type of revelation as to why this is happening. All right, you guys are moving on now, all right? You guys are de deciding wherever you at, you just moving away from it. You want to start fresh somewhere else, all right? Some of you guys are going through a rebirth is what I'm seeing here. Your ancestors are protecting you. So it might look like a negative situation for now, but you don't know that you're being provided a new path that's going to bring things back to life in your life. Yeah, you guys, yeah, a job is ending here. All right. Some of y'all got a son. Y'all could be worried about that. Like, damn, how I'm going to take care of my son? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, I'm feeling, I don't know how this ended, but I feel like it's like unfair to you. Yeah, that's a feminine energy. Yes, yeah, somebody was afraid to change, afraid to step out the comfort zone. So spirit is definitely shaking things up for you. And it's coming to light why this happened. All right. You wasn't being appreciated where you were. That's why spirit wanted you to move. Okay. 
Yeah. So really, you dodging a bullet. I feel like it's something better for you that's coming. Let's get an ace of wheels in reverse. This business could have went under. And I feel like they had an opportunity to tell their employees and they did not. Okay, so no matter what this is for you, whether you work for an actual establishment or you you got a business, you doing a business, but like, I don't know, like whatever is going on, it's like whoever is the boss, the CEO, the owner, this person is like losing his company, you know? So that could be the reason why it's so unfair. That could be the reason why you've been going without any growth or whatever the case is. All right, why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? telling you yeah privileged lady in reverse you could just feel like you lose the opportunities left and right you you felt like they could have told y'all earlier or sooner damn y'all but i feel like god is handling your problems no matter what i don't know what's happening i'm gonna see what the outcome is for you guys gemini because spirit keep on saying like they got you but the only thing I'm getting here is loss, loss, loss. So I need to see how spirit got you. You know, like what's going to come through for you. All right, what's coming through for Gemini to replace this situation that they losing? What's coming through for Gemini, spirit? What's going to be to come through? I feel like whatever it is, is at a distance. Page of Swords. Yeah, you guys getting ready to get some message. Y'all might be starting an internet business. Okay? I feel like this is something you know you should have been doing, but you was honestly afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Okay, Chariot. Yeah, y'all got to travel for work. You guys are going to conquer this. Y'all don't have to worry. This might be internet related or communication based, but it's looking like you got to travel or it might be quite a bit of a commute. Like it could be 45 minutes to an hour to get to work. All right, but you are getting exciting news and communication as it pertains to your work. All right, whatever you was doing before, it wasn't offering you the balance that you needed. So that's why spirit took that away from you. Okay, so yeah, whatever's being taken from you is going to be given back. You don't have to worry, Gemini, okay? Queen of Pentacles, because girl, you're still a boss. All right, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.